Mobile games on smartphones and tablets are all the rage these days, but a touchscreen is no replacement for the bond between a man or woman and a game controller. I'm Donald Bell, and in this scene at Top 5, we're paying respect to the all-time greatest console game controllers. Starting off at number 5, the Atari 2600 joystick. This guy's a classic. It had its limitations, and it kind of looked like it was carved from a piece of Darth Vader, but because absolutely anybody could use it, this controller ushered in the first wave of mainstream console gaming. In many ways, mobile games have brought us back to the Atari's one-button philosophy. At number four, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Sure, the original NES controller was more iconic, but it was the SNES that got us used to the four-button design used on all major consoles today. More importantly, it introduced us to the idea of shoulder buttons, opening up a whole new vocabulary for button combinations, and giving the 90s youth a way to play Street Fighter II from the comfort of their home. Number three is a bit controversial. The scene that UK piece I originally based this list on gave the number three slot to the Nintendo 64 controller, but our scene that gaming experts Dan Ackerman, Scott Stein, and Jeff Bacalar threatened to stop talking to me if I didn't give this one over to the Sega Dreamcast. This design laid the groundwork for the Xbox 360 controller, and it had a unique expansion port that could be used with a tiny screen for extra content. It was way ahead of its time, and that's why it's on the list. At number two, and this was a hard choice, the PlayStation DualShock in all of its forms. Here was the first controller to include built-in haptic feedback. It debuted in 1997, and Sony is still essentially using the same design today. It ranks right up there with the Walkman in terms of Sony's legacy for industrial design. Now before we get to our number one pick, let's take a minute to acknowledge some of the worst game controllers ever made. There was the boulder that Atari made for the Jaguar, the Intellivision thing that looked like a phone, but the most worthless controller and one of the most heartless scams perpetrated onto the children of the 80s was the Nintendo Power Glove. It looked so cool, but it was so, so bad. And now, the number one game controller as confirmed by popular vote on top5.cnet.com. It's the Xbox 360 controller! Now, unlike Sony, Microsoft had to go through a few revisions before they nailed it, but they delivered built-in wireless control a year before the PlayStation, and because the Xbox has carried so many blockbuster games, this thing just feels like the embodiment of a great gaming experience. Now, if you want to participate in future Top 5 polls, you can subscribe to my updates on Facebook, or just make it a habit to check back at top5.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell. Thanks for watching.